On the northern edge of Denver's Park Hill neighborhood sits a foundry and an artist. Feverishly trying to get it done. Working on a sculpture. 40 foot long, 27 foot high. Big enough for Texas. Going on a Capitol grounds down in Austin. In Austin, Texas. Artist Ed Dwight Jr. lives in the future. I'm a visionary, kind of an opportunistic guy. But works in the past. What I do is try to get permanent uh, remembrances in parks and, and on boulevards and in cities. All over the United States. They gave me six blocks to develop a jazz district in Chicago. With each permanent memorial comes fame and attention. I got piles of, of, of fan mail in there that I can't get to. But letters he receives refer less to his art and more to his past life when he was on a very different mission. Back in 1961 uh, uh, when President uh, Kennedy was thinking way ahead of his time. A time when it was unimaginable to put a black man in space. It was very revolutionary to be even discussing. President Kennedy tapped Ed, a young Air Force pilot, to become America's first black astronaut. When I got the letter, I, was, I thought it was a joke. And I thought I was waiting for somebody to, to say, gotcha. <laughs> the letter was no joke. The young test pilot had all the qualifications, an engineering degree, the required skill, and a promising career ahead of him. He traveled the world as an ambassador for the space program. Uh, you know, I was working to promote the idea of it so they can get it on people's minds that that was a possibility. But the trajectory of his career changed one dark day. On November the 22nd, 1963, when President Kennedy was assassinated. That was the key to changing everything about Ed Dwight. Discrimination and harassment intensified in the space program. And I had to take all the wrath that these guys were dishing out. Three years later, Ed resigned. He went on to start a construction company and open a chain of barbecue restaurants in Colorado. Oh, I was in a barbecue ribs, girl. <laughs> I was a barbecue ribs. I'm from Kansas City, honey child. All the while maintaining his <laughs> art hobby on the side. That hobby became his career, and now 127 of his sculptures decorate parks, sidewalks, and buildings all over the U.S. 13 memorials in Atlanta alone. The astronaut in the making and perpetual artist blends his two passions, science and art. The art is a part of it, but all, everything I do is all engineering and science. Ed Dwight <laughs> is a Renaissance man on a mission to keep sculpting. But maybe I can get somebody to clone me. <laughs> because his journey to create, educate, and inspire is far from over. <laughs> Anything can be done. There's nothing that can be done. Shaul Turner, Fox 31, Denver.